YouTubers, I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Today I'm going to show you how I ground. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Hope it helps you. Everything you see in the video is for sale, like this pre wired pull box with one or two IMO disconnects, solar converters, transfer switches, wireways, and of course, we sell the solar array itself which is the panels and this beautiful Sinclair ground mount. We can ship this stuff all over the place and talk you through your install. Specific to this video, we have the ground bar kit with three trilobular thread forming screws and the four terminal ground bar that goes in the box for sale at, on our website at gainsolarpower.com. YouTubers, I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Today I'm gonna show you how I ground my Sinclair sky rack ground mounts how i bond the pull box which this is the pull box i bond the ground bar in the pull box to the rest of the racking and this is just the simplest way i found to do it if somebody's looking for it on this system uh, i have driven posts so i mean i've got seven feet of galvanized c channel in the ground so i mean i really don't have to do a ground rod and you're not required to do a ground rod at a ground mounted solar array but it is important that everything is bonded electrically and at some point all of it ties back to the system ground. So some inspectors want to see that. So that's just what I'm going to show you how to do, how to tie your, your ground of your racking into the ground bar inside of your junction box, your pull box. So I use this little duber right here um, and I'll give you the part numbers for them or you can contact me to see what this is. And then I use a ground bar with a thread forming screw. So a thread forming screw cuts its own threads. So if you're going into sheet metal, you have to use something that's got machine threads and you have to use a thread forming screw to bond the box to the ground. So you can't just through bolt it. If you through bolt it and you use like a star washer or something, maybe, but this is, this code says a thread forming screw. So the thread forming screw into the sheet metal for the ground bar, get a hole right below your ground bar Here's my hole, and I'm gonna bolt this on to the, the steel, and I'm gonna run a piece of ground wire through that. So let me do that real quick. So in the manual for these, they want you to use a little bit of uh, antioxidant where this thing goes on. This little sucker just bites down. So wherever I'm gonna engage it, I just get the, a little bit of the antioxidant on the screw. And the teeth on this bite down into it. That cuts through the galvanization of it. And I'll take a little bit of ground wire. This is a piece of four, but you can use a piece of six. This is called bare wire. And if you use a piece of six, it's a lot easier to work with than the piece of four. Basically what I'm doing weaving it in here and they don't want you to run smaller than number six where it's exposed and subject to damage the code does not like something smaller than that so i think this is just the perfect little piece to attach the ground wire to the C channel on this rail. I, I could easily extend this ground wire all the way down to a ground rod. I haven't driven a ground rod on this system, but I could. So they don't want you to use smaller than a piece of number six bare when it's run like this exposed. They think it's subject to damage. Now I'm bonded. This little lug has bonded my piece of ground wire to this. And I'm also bonded inside. Come around and film in the junction box. See where I'm bonded right there? To that ground bar. So now everything's bonded together. And grounding and bonding are two different things. I consider this array grounded because it's driven post. But the main thing I'm trying to do is just bond everything together. And that's what this lug is for. And that is how I ground it. You could also theoretically 
go drill through this and use a, th a, a larger thread forming screw and run the thread forming screw this screw through this hard or thick metal you could run the thread forming screw th through this thick metal but i've just never had any luck it seems like they always break this is probably grounding and bonding it this big self tapper that i've got but from a code standpoint this is what will hold up